This video is going to show you the solution to the resistance and resistivity example problem. So here's what the problem says from their webpage. There's a little bit more in there. At the top of it, it says that the voltage is 120 volts, although that's not going to matter for our problem down here. Let's take a look at part A. We'll start by listing our givens. So I've got the length of the wire, the final resistance, the initial resistance, the resistivity of the nichrome, which is from the table on the page, and the temperature coefficient, which is also from the table on the page. And I'm looking for the change in temperature. Now there's only one formula, part A, that has the change in temperature in it that we're going to need. That's resistance. There is a resistivity formula, but that's not going to really help us in this case. So our final resistance is going to be equal to our initial resistance plus the change in resistance due to the change in temperature. So that's what we're after is that change in temperature in that formula. Plug in my numbers, I got the final resistance, 13 ohms is equal to 12 ohms plus the co temperature coefficient times the change in temperature times 12 ohms. Solve it for the change in temperature, and that tells me we get a rise of 208 Kelvin. Now it's 208 degrees Celsius as well because the increments in Kelvin and the increments in Celsius are the same, they just start at different points of the temperature scale. For part B, I'm going to be using R is equal to rho, um, the resistivity times the length divided by the area. That's the only formula I have that has it. it talks about the cross-sectional area of the wire in it. Then I'll put my numbers in. 12 ohms equal temperature coefficient times 3.5 divided by the area. Solve it for the area. And I get 3.9 times to the negative 6 meters squared.